star of Extreme Makeover, Home Edition, DDR Schneider, is in the studio today with some exciting news and some DIY projects that you'll be doing by the end of today's show. So my girl, DDR Schneider, is here to teach us some really cool repurposing DIY projects, but first, I wanted to take a second to remind everyone what an impact that she had on so many families as a regular cast member of Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. Take a look. You're lying if you said that you didn't tear up when you saw them move that bus. Did it get you going again, too? It got me oh, he is crying. Again. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And you only saw 40 seconds of it. Imagine what he's like during the whole show. Oh, the show. I'm just a blubbering mess. Oh, my gosh. Dee Dee, what's up, girl? Hey, how, how are you? Guys Thanks guys for doing? being yeah. here. I know. It is so cool to see it. How was it being part? I mean, it's probably, it's even closer to you. I mean, we at home, we watch this, and we're a mess. But being part of it and being involved with changing those lives, what was that like? It was an incredible experience. I was on the show for three seasons and every family was so unique and was so incredible to their community. And that's what it was about. It was about reaching out to the community and bringing people together and honoring a family that had done so much for their neighbors, their folks down the street. And to be a part of that and see that change was just incredible. And how are you a part of that? We saw you there with everybody with Ty Pennington when they moved the bus. What, what, what roles did you have? What were your responsibilities in helping make that happen for these families so quickly? Casey, what didn't we do? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, no, everything. Building a house literally in three days. I, is mm. that, do you really do that in we three days? We really yeah. did it. That's and insane. we, I was out there, you know, first thing in the morning, laying down foundations, putting up framing, handing out coffee to builders when it was freezing cold, handing out ice water when it was really hot, and just going through everything, building the house, the design, uh, and bringing it all together. That was the best part. And really getting to know the families and, and the, the, the certain projects that you would take on, getting to know them so well that you could bring to life what meant so much to them. Absolutely. It's all about projects. I love yeah. doing projects. And yeah, you're going to be doing projects coming up later on the show. So give us a hint of what people are going to be able to take away if you're watching at home from your expertise. You don't have to throw away your garbage anymore because she's got an answer for it. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I love repurposing things from everyday household items. You know, we as consumers just tend to throw so much away. We're right. consumers. We consume, consume, consume. But what do we do with that? So instead of it going to the garbage bin, I've got some great ideas awesome. that you can do at home with your kids and your family. Very cool. Well, we'll see you in just a few minutes coming up. Woo. I'm giving you that because I've got, you know, something, something going on. And I don't want to give any of you. Yeah. I love you, you but see. I don't want to give it to you. Okay. Well, thank you. We'll keep your distance then. All right. <laughs> she made dreams come true for hundreds of families as a regular cast member on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. And our new show, At Home with DDR, is going global this fall, 2014. Welcome Please welcome a lady I like to refer as, and she doesn't know this, the Martha Stewart on steroids, my dear friend, Dee Dee Ayers. Snyder, what's up? Woo! Hey, Nick. How you doing? I'm doing really well. The Martha Stewart on steroids. I like that. Yes. It's I've true. never told you that before, but <laughs> it is true. It's true. The, the pretty Martha Stewart on steroids. No offense. Too kind, too kind. <laughs> well, she's definitely one of my mentors because she's everything home. Uh, and I love to talk about things that we can recycle in the home. Right. It's and really we are pretty, uh, we're pretty wasteful here in the U.S., aren't we? We do our best, but Americans are large consumers, and we actually make up about 63,000 garbage trucks of waste every year. That's, oh if you gosh. line them up, that's halfway to the moon. Wow. That's a lot of waste. And there are little things around the home that you can do to lessen that. We're not going to change it overnight, but every little thing that we can do can make a difference. So even if we do a little bit of these projects and have fun with it, we can have fun with the family and, and so on and so forth, but we're not just throwing the stuff in the dumps. We're actually reusing it and repurposing it. That's right. Paper and plastic are the biggest culprits. And paper, I mean, think about it. Uh, America is the 5% in population in the world, mm -hmm. but we use 30% of the world's paper. 
Wow. That's a lot of paper wow. and it comes in the house and it goes straight out the house. So That's I have insane. some handy little things here to show you. Just think about it. Paper comes in all types of products, right? We've got toilet rolls here. We've got paper towel rolls here. I had a really handy idea to take these little toilet rolls and put lint in them. So lint from the dryer. Lint from the dryer. Stuffed into a toilet paper roll right? that we're going to throw out. Yeah. Everything we're going to throw out. And you can reuse this as a fire starter in your fire, in your campfire pit. Really cool. It's getting a second life. And you're recycling Very cool. and reusing, which I love. Uh, shoe boxes. More, more paper. It gets wasted all, all the right. time. You buy these pair of shoes. I say leave the box at the store. Let the store recycle it. Uh, but if you do want to bring it home because you think you may maybe change out those shoes, a great thing to do is create a memory box. Um, it's very easy to do. Take scrap paper, add some. And we buy things to it. like this. We do. Yeah, we I, buy I, things we just like bought this in one the store. for a gift for somebody at Barnes and Noble this Christmas. I mean, it was virtually the same thing. It just. Uh, which is, we could have just made it you and it wouldn't have cost us anything. Put a little label on it, stick your photos in there, you can stick receipts in there, whatever it is that you want, and oh, you have cool. done something crafty and fun. Very cool. All right. Love it. Plastic. Yeah, that's a bad one. Plastic breaks my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we use so much of it in the United States, and you know, every day I think it's like 15,000 water bottles get used every minute. Every day? Every minute? Every minute. In the U.S.? In the oh, U.S. Oh Th that's a lot gosh. of plastic. So I say, first of all, go ahead and try and buy something that you can reuse, reuse, reuse. Right. But if you can't, then go ahead and do something in the home. So we have created a bird feeder here. That is so Very cute. easy to do. All you do is fill it up with bird feed. Put some, you can even put sticks in there if you wanted to. And when you're ready to hang it, just cut a little bit there and the birds will peck away. And this will be out in your garden. I was actually at the store the other day. And I looked up bird feeders. The average bird feeder ranges from like seven to fifty dollars. I even saw one for one hundred and twenty dollars. Oh my gosh! So just think what you can do. No you more can, fancier than that. Either. No more fancy. The, the birds don't care. They just want the food. <laughs> right. Last thing: plastic bags. Oh yeah. We use over thirty billion plastic bags every year and ten billion paper bags. So recycle these. You can use them again as garbage bags. Another big plastic thing in your home are your cleaning products. Mm. Instead of throwing these guys out, maybe empty them, wash them out, and make your own. Use a little vinegar and baking soda for countertops. You can put some water and eucalyptus together for maybe your shower, which is a wonderful um, uh, germ fighter and mold fighter. And these are simple things that you can do for fun and cheap and easy. That is awesome. And actually, my kids just last week created something. I think I put a picture in there. Oh, I took, that's We took so some of the cardboard cute. boxes from Christmas and old toys that were broken they didn't use anymore and put together these little robots. So they it's had a fun. great time with it. Absolutely. I tell you what, if you get a, a big cardboard box and fill it with all types of cardboard items and give it to a kid, sometimes that's better than the big plastic thing you bought at the store. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit real quick because we got a minute about at home with DDR, the new show oh, so that excited. we are doing together I know. that is coming out in the fall. There we go. So cool. You know, through all the years that I have uh, worked on television and designed and helped families across the nation, I wanted to do something that would really bring it home. And I love everything about the home. I love everything about family and helping people find ways to do innovative things in their home, right. but also get them out of their home, get them traveling, finding cool ways and places to go, things to do. And uh, it's fun. We have a lot of amazing uh, celebrity chefs. We have Wolfgang Park, Rick Moonen, Susan Feniger on the show, and a lot of wonderful guest surprises. So it's going to be a blast. It's going to be a huge year. Yeah. And it's going global. It's global. We're going global. I know. See, we had no idea. You, you forgot to inform us that you were actually kind of a big TV star in China. Oh my gosh, I, I mean, know. we thought, okay, uh, English-speaking countries will be good, but now all of a sudden it's like, China, you're a big deal. I know, it's really funny. There's like two of me. There's like this home domestic, and then I get to like dress up. I have this great show that I do in Las Vegas, and I recently hosted uh, Superstar Born Tonight uh, for, for the Japanese. <laughs> Is that like a da Dancing with it's the Stars? It's a Dancing with the Stars okay. dance-off between the U.S. and China. Wow. So I get to do a lot of great things, and that's what I want to bring to my show and just kind of get people excited about their lives, kind of like what the happy doctor was talking about. Absolutely. Very cool, Didi. Thank you so much. Thanks, I'm just We're doing elbows. <laughs> I'll be giving you hugs, but you know. Thank you, Didi, for hanging with us today and for all the great tips for daily DIYs, traveling tips, and recipes from our huge lineup of celebrity chefs. Just visit athomewithdidier.com and keep your eyes out for At Home With Didier this fall.